This is Jay Hong from University of Washington blogging for uh, Fits on the Go, and I have Dr. Christopher Kurtz from University of Wisconsin. <laughs> so, Dr. Kurtz, you have completed your fellowship uh, two years ago, and now you are an assistant professor at University of Wisconsin. Um, for those cardiology fellows who are interested in academic cardiology, what would you say is the biggest challenge in making that transition from fellow to being an assistant professor? Right. Well, there's obviously a long list. Um, it depends on what stage of training you're talking about. The first six months that you're in practice, you're really just going to be focusing on keeping your, your head above water clinically. Um, once you get out into the one to two year range and you gain some comfort with your own practice level, uh, you will find the, the more difficult thing is expanding a, a real niche for yourself, whether that's in teaching or research, but making a, a large academic name. Um, so. There's a number of challenges related to that. One is making sure that you defend your time um, against clinical creep, which is something that you deal with even in, in training, but becomes unfortunately harder and harder as you progress. Um, and then finding adequate mentorship, um, which is something that is a little bit of a psychological struggle. You feel like you shouldn't need um, as much help, I suppose, because you are an attending yourself. Um, but the truth of the matter is that this is a, a very critical time, uh, make or break, and without adequate mentorship, um, you unfortunately are very likely to fail. So when you're looking for jobs, that's something else that's uh, often overlooked, but extremely important to make sure that you have people who are going to help you develop um, your career and who are not just uh, you know, looking for a good clinician. That's important, of course, but for you individually, you have other needs. Do you have any recommendations for fellows who are interested in academic cardiology? Yeah, so I, I would say uh, along those same lines, if you know that you want to be an academician, um, you, you kind of have to sell yourself and make yourself a commodity. And there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of bright people out there, which is great in terms of, um, you know, networking and making contacts, but you have to find a way to make yourself unique. And um, getting started on academic endeavors or finding, again, a true niche for yourself uh, in research. You don't necessarily have to start publishing or become an expert by any stretch, but you need to find something that gets you excited. Um, and more importantly, uh, if you don't know your direction, it's going to be hard to identify that mentorship that's going to be so critical for um, your early career transition. Yeah. Well, thank you for all your helpful inputs. This is uh, Jay Hong from University of Washington, uh, blogging for Fits on the Go. Um, so please check us out at cardiosource.org slash fit.